And now I'm going to play a, a couple of clips from a MOOC that I'm doing. It's a MOOC on uh, transition in arts organisations. And it's organised by the Goethe Institute and Luthona Digital, which is a, a, a university based in, in Germany. The MOOC, the MOOC is all in English, and I think you can join as an observer still. And I, my point of view is to borrow the resources and make them make them available. Available. Uh, we're, we're we're talking about open educational resources some some of the time, and I think the it sort of cut, carries over into Creative Commons, and there's a bit of content marketing involved in it as well. Right. But uh, basically, what's been going on with with the music world, I think it's going to end up with the education world as as well, at some point. Anyway, I'm going to play two two clips that I've, I've borrowed from the the videos that are, that are part of this book, and um, the, the, they're both from Chris Durkon, who is is one of the one of the people involved in the MOOC, and this is this is the first one. It's, it's about arts organisations. I think I think it could apply to radio or at least a uh, radio like ourselves in the in the in the basement of a an arts building which is called a play in the museum you're part of the play and in a way we play up to that because we figure now that we don't do only exhibitions we create conferences we organize parties we organize openings and when you listen very carefully to the audiences themselves what do they say they say the museum, the art institution, is a perfect place for inspiration, is a perfect place for new ideas, but for most people, the museum is becoming the new theatre, the new opera of the 21st century. It's a place for encounters. It's a place where people who know something get to meet people who know something else, and the arts manager is indeed becoming a moderator, a mediator. He's mediating between the demands of different kinds of publics and the demands of sponsors and politicians and of course also the demands of creative individuals as artists can be and should be creative individuals. And the moderator has to make sure that people interact with one another. So instead of offering something, instead of saying you are going to understand this because you didn't understand it before, we are now having a culture of sharing, whereby the art manager has to make sure that this moment of sharing, these encounters, these events, that they have a place, that they become like a place in order to stimulate civic imagination. Civic imagination is one of the most important challenges today for art managers. So we have to learn to program not just exhibitions, but also to program encounters and to program events. And therewith, the museum is becoming a place where all kinds of issues can be raised, big and small, about what our neighbors like, about discrimination, about sexual discrimination, about religious discrimination, about inequality. There's many more questions, questions beyond art and artists per se. And therefore, I compare today the arts manager to an editor of chief in of a very big media organization. Indeed, there will come a time that we consider the art institution as a mass medium, but we still have to write the rules and the laws for this new mass medium. So I, I don't know if you can find that directly on on Vimeo, but may, maybe maybe you can. Uh, some of them are. Look look for D uh, G Goethe Institute or Luthana Digital, and I think some of it will turn up. John, what I, what I thought of that, he, he might as well be doing a, a chat show on radio. Well, yes, because that is that's media mediation, isn't it? Yes, it is. So maybe our idea of um, Albertopolis West involving the museum. As well as everybody else mm -hmm. in whatever whatever this space is, right? That might work out. Hmm. Don't know. We'll, well see. You can only but try. So what should we do? Shall I play the other one? Or should we have some music? 
What do you reckon? You can play the other one. I don't, I don't mind. All right, we'll go on. We'll go. We'll go on with the other one. This is this. This one is is more about digital. I think this. The, what, I, what I get from this next one, because the the MOOC is about transitions, and I I haven't quite I worked out whether organisations do the transitions or whether the transitions are just happening anyway, and the organisations just respond to that. Anyway, um, that it's only it's only week one. So I will be reporting back over the next 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 few months. This is this is the the second clip we've got. When the former director of the Museum of Modern Art, William Rubin, in the 60s and the 70s believed and said so that museums can not eternally be expanded, of course he didn't think about what's happening today. Because the museum, which is an art institution, the art institution is not anymore in one place. The art institution today is in many places at the same time. So art managers, being mediators, being moderators, being producers, being editors-in-chief, being diplomats, now they have to learn also to use new tools to disseminate their ideas. And when I say their ideas, I mean, of course, the ideas of their teams, the ideas of artists, but also the ideas of audiences. Because first of all, it's not happening anymore in one place. That means there are several instances in the arts institutions who can work together. Think about cultural participation. Audiences want to do things themselves. They want to participate. They want to contribute something. Another example of this challenge of one singular place, of one singular location, of one singular act activity is of course the fact that thanks to digital tools we can reach out in the world and we can suddenly start to build programs and make exhibitions and create events and activities where people can talk back, where people can interact, where people can do things, where you can share through the web, through social media. And when you ask today directors of art institutions, do you plan an extension, an expansion of your museum? They will say yes, but not anymore like it used to be. We are not going to extend our institution with ever bigger increasing spaces and new walls. We are not even want to build iconic buildings anymore. We are thinking about extensions in a new way. Indeed, we are building networks, and these networks take often the form of the web, of social media, of MOOC, learning as a form of participation, because learning in museum is becoming an artistic activity by itself. So we art managers, we have to learn also what these tools can do. Think about the print media. There will come a time that our print media are just there to promote what we do online. And maybe art institutions are becoming in the future, in the near future, a space for physical encounter, a platform for reaching out, but also maybe a kind of horse of Troy, where we say, we do this, but if you want to continue to follow me, if you want to understand better what I'm doing, if you want to interact, if you want to talk back, then sit down, in the gallery, at home, and start to do things with us. And not just flipping through our calendars, but also create your own ideas. Also, maybe create your own art. And that's what I call exchange. Art institutions in the future will be locations and places for exchange. That means that suddenly it's not anymore art and artist on a pedestal, it's also the audience on a pedestal. And therewith, the art manager has become also a media producer. We have to prepare ourselves for the future. It's an exciting future, because not only we can reach much wider audiences, physically, located very far from us, but also we will have a much more qualitative kind of discussion. I think culture and art will benefit of these exchanges. And it's up to the art manager to create these kind of guarantees and conditions for this new future. So 
So that I, I thought was very, very interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, partly because we're, we're, we're shifting some of our show online. We're, we're sending copies of it to Access All Aerials, which we just started to do. Mm. And Access All Aerials has, has got um, a physical presence. Seal Haynes, a very large site, isn't it? Yes. So it's not as if they are totally imagined. No. There's something very pay, um, essential there. Yes. Uh, including a very good bistro. Yes. Which is an element in any situation. It's very expensive. Well, the bistro's a bit expensive. It is. Cafe's more reasonable. Yeah. But, yeah, they do very they do very nice food in the bistro, I think. And I think that is an art, an art element of any institution. Mm-hmm. The food's got to be good. And uh, there, is a, there is a takeaway cafe across the, across the space, so... Uh, all I'm saying is that there are... So there are art institutions... Like the Phoenix, like Seal Hain, right? Where radio is part of it. Okay, that's that's what I'm I'm trying to get get across to. So um, we'll, we we might play some more more clips from this MOOC as it, as it goes on. As I say, the, it's it's about management in the arts. It's from uh, the Goethe Institute and Lufana Digital, and it's on for a, another another couple of months, I think. And uh, it's it's about transition. But whether those transitions are just something external to organisations or whether the organisation can do anything about it, uh, we'll let you know. Yep.